So, did Megalodon definitely go extinct? Huh, I sure hope so. The ocean is vast and filled with terrifying-looking creatures, but the prehistoric Megalodon would put them all to shame. For over 10 million years, the toothy Megalodon ruled the world's waters, and we're thanking our lucky stars it doesn't exist today. While theories out there argue that these bad boys of the ocean are still around, there's no doubt that they're long gone and extinct. Still don't believe it? Just get ready for a big dose of scientific evidence. But first, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on notifications to join us on the Bright Side. Meet the Megalodon, the largest shark ever documented in Earth's history. The largest Megalodon tooth ever found, which measures at about 7 inches long, is almost three times larger than the teeth you'll find in the great white sharks of today. The Megalodon sported 276 of these giant and sharply serrated teeth that could rip the flesh of dolphins, whales, and possibly even other sharks, according to the Natural History Museum in London. Scared yet? <laughs> well, I am! But don't go running for the hills just yet. Megalodon has long been extinct. Despite blockbuster hit movies like 2018's The Meg and conspiracy theories running rampant on the internet, these prehistoric sea beasts no longer exist. Yep, rest assured that Megalodon did, in fact, go extinct 2.6 million years ago. And the proof is in the scientific pudding. <laughs> My favorite flavor. About 2.6 million years ago marked the beginning of the era known as the Pleistocene. At the beginning of this era, temperatures began to cool and glaciers started to form all over. If you're thinking this was the time of the Ice Ages, you'd be right oh, my friend. Due to the planet's falling temperatures, things started changing in the Earth's oceans. For one thing, whales started migrating to find more food, landing them closer to the poles. Being one of the Megalodon's primary meal to goes, it became harder and harder for the humongous predator to find whales to munch on. Perhaps this was the reason for Megalodon's extinction? Well, that's what scientists thought up until 2016, when Dr. Catalina Piamento and her team of researchers came onto the scene and said that this probably wasn't the case at all. While there's no doubt that the Megalodon definitely went extinct, it probably wasn't because they couldn't keep up with whales in the cooler temperatures. And that's because Megalodon fossils have actually been found in waters as cold as 33 degrees Fahrenheit, which means that these giant sharks weren't afraid of ice-cold temperatures. Sure, they typically preferred a much cozier 53 to 80 degrees setting, but Piamento's study showed that they could totally bear ice waters. This isn't all that hard to believe, since today's sharks are actually mesothermic, meaning they're able to keep their body temperature slightly warmer even when surrounding waters are colder than they'd like. Okay, so if the whale's new migration patterns weren't what killed the megalodon species, then what did? Like with so many things, the answer is competition. That's right, even though the Megalodon were ferocious and scary, there were actually other flesh-eating predators sharing the ocean that liked to eat a lot of the same things that these giant sharks did. Talk about a dog-eat-dog -dog world, or rather, a shark-eat-shark… Shark, uh, shark, never mind, you get the point. One of the Megalodon's biggest competitors in the deep blue during the mid-Miocene era was the now-extinct genus of sperm whale known as the Liviatin melvilli. These prehistoric sperm whales had shorter jaws than today's sperm whales, and they were able to chomp down on sharks and even other whales. Yow! And these weren't the only carnivorous whales that roamed the ocean waters during this era. By the end of the Miocene, a new shark entered the picture and changed everything. It was the Carcharodon hubbelli, 
the oldest ancestor of today's great white shark. And this new kid on the block wasn't afraid to go head to head with the mighty megalodon when it came to hunting for prey. How do scientists know this? Well, teeth marks of the Carcharodon hubbelli have been found in fossils of the same whales the megalodon liked to chew. As time moved forward into the Pliocene era, whales were starting to disappear. While there were about 60 different whale species in the previous Miocene age, only 40 remained by the time of the Pliocene. Many of these whales had evolved and sported baleen instead of teeth. These bristle-looking things in the whales' mouths serve as filtration system that helps them catch more krill, their favorite food. The krill they'd feed on ate primarily microscopic algae known as diatoms. But around 3 million years ago, the many different kinds of diatoms started to diminish, leaving only a few different types. While it's still not known why this happened, it could have been due to a shift in ocean water circulation. Because of this lack of diatoms, there weren't as many krill swimming around, which in turn left whales with empty bellies. As these whales slowly disappeared, so did the megalodon. Circle of life, right? At this time, the megalodon had to put their game faces on and fight even harder against the great white sharks who were smaller and faster. That'd be like racing a Ford Escape with a Porsche Carrera GT. Catch my drift? <laughs> with these great white sharks being more agile and smaller, they required less food than the megalodon. And that, Brightsiders, is why 2.6 million years ago, the very last megalodon roamed the oceans as the scariest shark around. Giant, blood-hungry predator or not, there's always something a little sad about species dying out, don't you think? But what if the megalodon had survived the whale food shortage and continued to thrive? Would today's oceans look different? Well, you'd be way less likely to go swimming in the ocean, am I right? <laughs> well, jokes aside, today's marine life would be a little different if the megalodon were still around. For one thing, we may not have the massive whale species we've come to know, like the blue whale. These guys can measure up to 82 feet, making them the biggest animal we've ever seen on this Earth. They managed to grow to such a hefty size thanks to the fact that, over a couple of million years, these bigger whales weren't hunted by the ocean's new, smaller predators, the great white shark and the orca. Without being on someone's dinner plate, larger species of whales continue to grow and thrive, becoming the massive animals they are today. While today's great white sharks aren't even close to being as big as the megalodon, they seem to be following in its fin steps. The great white grows about three feet larger than its ancestors that swam alongside the megalodon during the Pliocene. On top of that, they seem to grow faster when they're younger, similar to how the megalodon did. Does this mean that the great white has the potential to become as large and fierce as the megalodon in the future? Well, with whales growing as big as they are today, and the great white thriving in our oceans, the next megalodon could be right around the corner. Well, considering that it took millions of years for the megalodon to evolve and grow as big as they were in their prime, that's going to be one long and distant corner. Whew. So there you have it, scientific proof that the megalodon no longer exists. Sorry to burst your bubble if you were hoping otherwise. It looks like the only megalodon you'll be seeing in the near future will be on screen. So, what other scary prehistoric creatures are you glad don't exist today? Let us know down in the comments. Remember to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click that subscribe button.